Hello, this is Dr. Zubak, and we are talking about the uh, miracle, uh, mineral magnesium, and this is part two. Part two, we're talking about how do you know that you have low magnesium level. So as we were talking in previously, you have low magnesium level most likely if you are diabetic, if you consume a lot of large amounts of carbohydrates, bread, pastas, rice, pastry, and white flour, and you sweat profusely, and you diet without any... Uh, uh, medications and uh, looking over by a doctor, have heart disease, uh, you train a lot as uh, exercise, you are under a lot of stress, especially emotional stress, and um, experience a lot of chronic pain. And uh, if you have headaches, migraines, and spasms, you know that you are having low magnesium level. Now, once your uh, magnesium level is low, basically only uh, supplementation can build it back. Why? Because we talked before, because in the food is just basically not enough and your body is washing it out on a very, very high level. So in order to build this back, you need to be taking it from a supplementation and a little bit of a higher dose. Now basically, once you are doing magnesium supplementations, these are the benefits. It will assure healthy heartbeat, dilate your blood vessels, so it will be, you will have a proper blood flow to the coronary artery in the heart, then in the brain, and reduce high blood pressure. It will inhibit blood clot formations. It will protect um, your body from free radical damage. Magnesium basically acts like an antioxidant. It will maintain your muscle tone, so it will stop spasms, muscle spasm, cramps, and migraines. It will be efficient for your energy production and metabolism and reduce fatigue. Your uh, cholesterol and the blood lipids level will uh, normalize, and it will a major alkalinizer for your body. So all the acidity from the inflammations and having high carbohydrate diets, it will be actually helping with that. And it will protect your bones. We know that over 34% of magnesium is in the bone. Now it's important what kind of magnesium you are taking and out of supplements. So as you can see on this table, that different uh, types of magnesium um, forms will have different amounts of actually elemental magnesium in there. These are all... 500 milligrams of tablets and the first is magnesium oxide and 500 milligrams, milligrams of tablets will only contain 300 milligrams of elemental magnesium but it's only 4% out of that will be absorbing which is actually uh, 12 milligram per tablet so this is very poor we actually they use this form because it's the cheapest and it's the most common form and it's the cheapest form to put it into supplements so most of the supplements multivitamins will have this Magnesium carbonate, uh, every 500 milligram tablet will have 125 milligram, absorption still very poor. Chelated magnesium, which is magnesium uh, glycinate, has 100 milligrams, every 500 milligram tablet has 100 milligrams of elemental magnesium. Easy absorption and high bioavailability, that means it's a much better form. Now, once you have magnesium orotate, Every 500 milligrams have 31 milligrams, high absorption. So basically, it's a good way to uh, load up on your magnesium level. Magnesium citrate is another one. Every 500 milligram tablet will have 80 milligrams of uh, elemental magnesium in there with very high absorption. And it's the water-soluble water form. One teaspoon will uh, contain 205 milligrams of elemental magnesium, which is excellent for a dose. Magnesium malate is another one, 56 mg per 500 grams. We don't have any data on uh, the absorption. And magnesium gluconate is another one, 27 mg per uh, 500 mg tablet. However, it's the fastest uh, absorption of uh, magnesium out of all. Part 3, we will talk about how much magnesium we will have to take. 